Hey, and welcome back. Or if this is your first video you see of me, then I'd recommend you check out my two last tutorials where I show you how to draw basically the face and on how to draw eyes. Now in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to draw hair. Now I'm not gonna show you how exactly to draw the hair itself because that's again where your art style comes in however i'm going to show you where the hair starts and how big it is and where exactly the place is all right so i'm starting off with just drawing my face as i showed you in my first tutorial before you can draw the hair and you know where the hair starts you have to draw the basic head shape first on so the way i do it is i just mark the top point of the head and then you can still draw out the size of the head so the full head as if it was shaved and that would might that might help you but I've drawn so much that I don't really need to put that on there anymore I would recommend you do that though now I've tried thinking of a way where you can be completely sure and know where you have or how tall you have to make the top of your head but I just couldn't figure out what kind of a rule it would be so what I'd recommend is you grab your handy dandy tracing paper again and you just practice by tracing other heads. So the way you do that is you just take two different colored pencils, um, whatever color you want as long as they don't match each other, so not two blues, but maybe as I take a red and a blue, and then you just want to draw your cross and your circle. And then you trace the rest of the face shape and you look at where the head would actually be on the drawing. Just trace around that as if your character you're tracing right now would be bald, basically. I'd always recommend you use more than one different artist because then you can see how it's... because everyone has their own drawing style and then you can see that there is a rule to it and that there is proportions to it and if one artist kind of messes something up then you don't learn the wrong thing okay so let's talk about a common mistake that people make all the time a lot of times when people draw out the head shape and the face in by applying the hair they forget that when you draw out the ears the hair should be visible behind their ears so let's just try and draw a character that has their hair behind their ears because a lot of people draw when they have open hair and then you cannot see the ears. However, we want to just try and draw a character where it's as if they had their hair tucked behind their ears. So before you do that, you have to know how to put the ears on there. Now, if you would, um, I'm just gonna show you in a little drawing here how um, the jawline of the face, the, the side of the face pretty much and the cheek here is a line and instead of going further up you have the ear here so the ear is kind of the thing that's gonna make it all break up okay so let's just draw a character that has their hair all tucked behind their ears and as you can see the hair is shown a little bit next to the ears so that's something that's important okay so now that we have down on how big the head has to be we have to see where the hairline is actually going to start so to know where the hairline starts you have to know this if you want to draw a fringe or if you want to draw something without a fringe so it's important in any way where the hairline starts is very easy basically it starts a tiny bit over the circle as you can see here that just applies to any kind of rule it's always like that this is where either the hairline is going to start. Now that's not hard at all, but a lot of people draw differently. As I said, it always depends on your art style and there's many ways to drawing fringes. Now, some people like to draw them really long and you have fringes like that where they kind of start in the middle of your, of the top of your head and they just go down in like a triangular form kind of thing. But in manga, that might look a little bit weird Sometimes it doesn't. I can't pull that off. I, it always looks weird with my drawings. But then again, it's all about your art style in the end. Okay, so with drawing the hair and with your hairline, you know where it is. If you want to draw a fringe like this one, 
Then you want to start off by placing your pencil where the hairline would start and dragging down your pencil by creating these little spikes if you want to draw it like that and that's going to create the hair by showing that where the hairline is basically it's showing the hairline is here if you were to draw the spikes way more below your actual hairline then it would look like that's where your hairline was and it's important that you keep all the little spikes there on the same line so that it looks like the hairline basically you also need to keep in mind that when you're drawing the top of the hair that the hair is going to have some volume so it's not going to be exactly on your headline that you drew but it's going to be a little bit bigger if you decide to draw the parting because there's a lot of artists who just leave it rounded up and don't draw any parting at all but if you want to draw a little bit of a parting which means you just draw a little dent in your hair um, then that little dent the bottom part of the dent should be on the headline now that's basically it for kind of rules and basic things i could tell you um, as I said, there's a lot of things that uh, where your art style is going to make a difference and is going to make it look unique and beautiful, but also there is a lot of observing. If you want to be an artist and you want to draw people or plants or buildings or anything, you have to be observant. So the world as an artist is completely different from someone who is not an artist you're gonna see things you're gonna look at people's ears and you're gonna see people's noses and you're gonna notice how big their lips are and if their eyes are placed in a right way in their face or if they're too far apart or if they have a large forehead these kind of things you don't really necessarily notice as a normal person but as an artist you might uh, notice these things more because you should and you will be observant Normally that should come by itself and you Obviously want to draw so you're gonna Look at other people because you want it to be realistic and proportional, but I can tell you right now that you can save up a lot of your time by just going ahead and observing them right now like just look at people and not just look at other people's drawings but try to draw people themselves so maybe you draw your brother or someone on the street just draw them and see where everything adds up you can draw someone from a photograph it doesn't have to look realistic or anything just so you know where the proportions are all right, so don't forget to subscribe for more weekly videos. Follow me on Instagram if you want to see some art shots that are not going to be on YouTube. And with that, I'll see you next week. Bye!